surfers in California are taking advantage of a big surf brought on by Hurricane Marie. Waves 15 feet breaking off the coast of Malibu as Marie churns in Mexico's Pacific coast, along Mexico's Pacific coast, I guess. Dan Henry will clean that up for us. <laughs> uh, not everyone's enjoying the strong surf, though. <laughs> Malibu's pier was forced to close because of some damage from the large waves. Yeah, you know, Steve, the, the key here was that Marie was a much larger and more powerful storm this past weekend. And uh, these swells uh, were literally uh, being swept uh, from hundreds of miles away up to the north, away from the storm toward the southern coast of California and uh, Baja. In fact, here's a look at it on satellite right now. It's now a tropical storm with winds of 65 miles an hour, but as recently as Sunday night, this storm had winds of 150 miles an hour. In fact, it was briefly a Category 5 hurricane, and uh, it's moving off to the west-northwest at 15, so it doesn't pose any threat uh, to Mexico or to the United States. It's moving away, but certainly those large swells will continue and the, the big waves for at least the next uh, 24 hours. Rainfall situation here, boy, we could use some tropical moisture. Look at that rainfall deficit now, 8.27 inches below normal. Now we do have hopes for some rain here, thanks to this area of low pressure, which the National Hurricane Center actually checked out earlier today. They flew an aircraft in there, only giving it a 20% chance of developing into a tropical depression. But the moisture associated with this system will be drawn northward thanks to this system here. This is an upper level trough currently located over eastern Utah, western Colorado. And as this system heads eastward over the next couple of days, that's what will sweep up to the north, what's left of that storm, and also the tropical moisture associated with it. So with that in mind, our rain chances will be going up. Now, they're still pretty small tomorrow, only at 20%. Friday, they jumped to 40%, Saturday, 30%. But higher than that, as you head south and southeast of the Dallas Fort Worth area. High temperature today 95, morning low 77, 95 and 74, the averages for this time of the year. We take a look outside right now 81 in Fort Worth, 89 in Dallas, 86 degrees in North Richland Hills, 85 in Allen. Winds east southeast at 8. The air is actually drier than it was 24 hours ago, and that's enabling temperatures to cool off more readily. It's already down to 86 in Frisco, 79 in Greenville already, 73 in Athens, and we've reached 84 degrees currently in Cleburne. All right, for the kids heading out tomorrow at the bus stop, uh, first thing in the morning, mostly clear sky, 76 degrees. By lunchtime, we'll be up in the low 90s. And when it's time to come home, look for temperatures in the middle 90s with partly sunny skies. And there will be a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Here's Futurecast. Mostly clear skies overnight tonight. As we heat things up tomorrow, that will give rise to some isolated showers and storms with the better chances east and southeast and well west of the Dallas Fort Worth area. But watch what happens as we head into a Friday afternoon. Friday morning could be a few isolated showers, but as that tropical moisture makes its way into North Texas with the uh, two systems there, that will give rise to uh, some scattered showers and thunderstorms that should die off pretty quickly as we head into Friday night. So your rain chance is 20% tomorrow, up to about 40% Friday, 30% Saturday. And then as we head through Sunday and Labor Day, we dry it out and heat it up. We'll be back in the upper 90s by early next week.